Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here, bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, I'd like to show you how to use custom styles in Microsoft OneNote. So to begin with, the basic concept in Microsoft OneNote is that formatting is actually kind of secondary or tertiary or <laughs> an, a forgotten child or whatever you want to say there. As you can see, uh, I can of course type in some text and decide to directly format it using these drop down menus. It doesn't have a font up and down button, which I would love to have, uh, but it does have a font drop, uh, size drop down menu. And I can go over here to styles and you can see in here with styles, I can go to heading one, two, three, four, but Microsoft thinks that formatting in OneNote is unimportant that ultimately OneNote is about gathering the information together and you probably want it to be simple and readable more than having a hierarchy. And it's for this reason that if you go to let's say heading one for example and right click on it you'll notice there is no way to modify heading one so that it looks different. Uh, instead it's got this add gallery to quick access toolbar option here. So you'll notice further that over here on the right hand side, I've got a series of buttons that you probably don't have in your OneNote. And that's because it comes from a tool called OneTastic. Let me go ahead and bring up OneTastic here, getonetastic.com. So getonetastic.com is an add-in for OneNote. Uh, it's from some of the people who built OneNote in the first place. So it's got lots of really great, powerful tools in it. And if you go under here to pricing, notice uh, that you've got a ton of things that are available to you for free, including right here, custom styles. So let's take a look at how custom styles work in OneTastic. So notice here, all I would have to do is click on free download to get OneTastic to plug into OneTastic for me, One, OneNote for me. So let's say that I come in here and I make this text Let's see, I'll put it over here. And so this is relevant company information about XYZ Incorporated. So I'll call this uh, company info and I'll call this uh, stock info and I'll put over here um, competition. Okay, so I want the same headings on these three columns here. And uh, right now, the only thing I have available to me are the default styles. I cannot modify those styles. So I'll go here to company info. I will increase the font size to let's say 24. I'll bold it. And maybe I'll use a font like Gotham Black or something like that. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. And um, okay, so that's fine. So now you think to yourself, I want to be able to reuse this on stock info and on competition and on other pages in the future. So in OneTastic, you have a custom styles drop down menu that has things like heading one, heading two, heading three. But I do want you to notice that if you right click, you cannot do anything to heading one. But what you can do is you can go in here and say, okay, this thing that I've got highlighted Let's save that selection as a custom style. And I can say this will be called H1. And notice as part of H1, it's saying that it's going to have indentation the same way, alignment the same way, the same font, the same size, the same bolding, etc. And I simply click OK. And so now when I highlight stock info here and I go to my custom styles, I see that H1 style right there that I can use and then again apply to competition. So if you had an H1 in your custom styles, it might actually be a good idea now to go to your manage custom styles on the drop down menu here. And notice on the drop down menu, I can go to heading one, which is the original one from uh, the OneTastic people. And I cannot modify any of these options here. None of this is clickable, but what I can do is I can hit delete. So I can get rid of the old heading one and use my H1 style that I just invented. <laughs> 